Amada! Amada! Viva right to know! Viva! Comrades! Friends! Cape Town! Today, we have to do a tragic thing. We have to remember that under apartheid, the government could take our parents, our mothers, our children, and put them into a jail when no one knew where they were. That is what they called security information. We remember that under apartheid, they could invade countries. And if our newspapers publish it, our editors could go to jail. Today we have to remember editors like Percy Koboza, whose newspaper was banned, like Donald Woods, who had to expose the death of Steve Biko. We have to remember Alistair Sparks, who had to expose the information scandal. And we feel again the pain of that time. We remember how the treatment action campaign had to march here to get access to information, to get access to information on how many people were dying in our country. We had to get access to information about the government's plans to treat people. And that was hidden for us. Today we march again in Cape Town regularly. Let me tell you a story about a tender. If this bill passes without a public interest defense and someone exposes a tender that is unjust, that is corrupt, that is given to friends, we would be making a mistake. For the last two months, in the city of Cape Town, we have tried to get access to the tenders that deal with sanitation in Kailicha. Our colleagues have not been able to access it. In fact, we've had to write 14 emails. We've had to make 14 phone calls or more. We've had to ensure all we've got out of the city of Cape Town so far about those tenders is the fact of the specs of those tenders. We haven't seen the contracts. This is not a party political issue. This is an issue that affects all parties that try to hide information. The people who will suffer most are poor and vulnerable communities who need to access information. The poor and vulnerable communities who need access to information that politicians hide. And we say today, never again will this happen. We demand the public interest defense within the secrecy bill. We recognize that there's legitimate information, legitimate information that the state needs to keep secret. But we do not believe that if someone leaks a document about corruption, about any aspect of the state where someone acts against the constitution, that that should be secret, that that person should go to jail. We also ask, we also ask that our government must show some measure of decency and not send people to jail for such a long time. That is what the apartheid government will have done for people who really make a mistake. Now to come back to what we're going to do. It doesn't matter if a law is passed. If it is unjust, the people must break it. If it is unjust, the people must break it. And our duty is never to give up on our freedom. It doesn't matter who is in power, we will ensure that our right to information remains always intact. We will, if necessary, fill jails 
by making sure people have access to information that is classified. We will make sure our communities have access to information. Information in the public interest, not information that the state has a legitimacy in keeping from public view for scrutiny. So today, and that's mainly genuine security information. So today, I want to say this is the broadest coalition of individuals and civil society. It is not a political party festival. It is for all of us a way in which we, as citizens, can say no to the seeker symbol, no. No to the seeker symbol, 